Hey there YouTube, it's Jobber here giving you a deck profile on my uh, Stardust Dragon Assault Mode deck. Please like my video and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Okay, here we go. So we got uh, two Stardust Dragon Assault Mode, three Assault Mode Beasts to get the Assault Mode activated. Also late game, you can always exceed out or because it's a four star with your other four star monsters you run in the deck, so it's good to run. Um, Three Flameville Fire Dog with three Flameville Magician. You know, uh, you attack your, if your attack goes through, you can destroy their monster. Get Flameville Magician, main phase two, sync for a Shard of Strat, get the Assault Mode activate, and just kind of go off on him. Or, you know, you can sync it for something else or exceed. Um, Goblin Berg, you summon, you can, uh, summon additional four stars. You know, you summon it, summon your four star. Uh, synchro instantly for a Shard of Strat, set the Assault Mode activate. Kind of point of the deck. Uh, Summoner Monk. Same kind of concept, get the four star tuner from your deck, uh, then go into Stardust. And then two Rose Warriors, combo with the Summoner Monk. The one Miss Valley so, uh, Soldier, just in case have a, there's a Reaper in your way, you, you just kind of lock them down, you attack, it bounces, and then you and then you have your uh, your big dragon attacking for 3,000, so it's a good setup. Uh, the one Gores, um, the reason why the Gores is in there is because they're going to try to force activate you to negate. So after you negate, they're going to try to go off on you. So then they attack and you go into Gores. Uh, um, I've won a lot of games because of that. So really good tech in the deck. Um, the deck also runs three instant fusions. Uh, you go into a four, your four-star, summon your four-star tuner, and then a synchro for Stardust instantly. Um, three upstart goblin for drawing, so you can draw into your combo cards. Uh, three mystical space typhoons and one heavy storm because uh, you don't want to have your uh, trap card or your monster warning when you're when you're trying to go off uh the one mind control uh just in case they you know if the the insectors they get their five star out there you have a five star fusions in the fusion deck and i'll get to that in an extra deck in in a moment so you can always uh instant fusion for a five use their guy overlay for a five so you have some options there with it so it's pretty good um or they just have a four star mix pretty simple mind control or four star some of your four star tuner then synchro for stardust uh you got one dark hole um, the one magical mallet, just in case you open with your star, your, uh, your salt mode dragons, you just mallet back into the deck. Um, also it's not a dead weight card because you can just ditch it off the summoner monk. So, uh, reinforcements to get the, the rose warrior, a monster born, uh, two assault mode activate. You don't need any more than that. Two is perfect. Uh, two solemn warning and the one solemn judgment. Um, and the one dark bribe. Uh, the dark bribes just so they don't warn in your assault mode activate because it's a cost, so you don't want to have to lose your Stardust Dragon and lose everything all off of their one solemn warning. So if you get a, if you have to dark bribe it, you got dark bribe it. Um, I get over to the the side deck. The side deck is uh, the two Cyber Dragons. Um, the deck kind of just goes into a, it a little has a little bit of beat down. So you got the two Cyber Dragons, the three Thunder Kings. They play test pretty well. Uh, two Shadow Prison Mirrors for Kings of the Dark World and Insector matchup. Two Skill Drains for Insectors. Uh, the one Starlight Rose, so basically when you side in the Skill Drains or anything, you side in the Starlight Rose for extra protection. The Call of the Haunted um, for a little bit more pressure. If you're playing against certain decks like Hero Beat and everything, you know, you want to get your uh, Stardust Dragon back on the field pretty quick. So it's good to, it's good to have. Um, one Bottomless Trap Hole and then uh, two Forbidden Lands. Forbidden Lands is a, has been playtesting pretty well. In the side deck, I've also tried it main decked as well. It's just a good card all the way around. Um, extra deck is going to be well, one Steel Sworn Roach, good to put on the field against Chaos Dragons, uh, Blade Armor Ninja. You got some four star warriors in there. You got the four star warrior fusion plus your uh, Rose Warrior, so you can overlay go into that if you wanted to. Uh, of course, guy right here is like a big gachi gachi, very good. Uh, two Utopias, one Utopia Ray, um, the one Black Rose Dragon. You know you can uh, you can instant fusion into a into the three star and then some of your four star tuner go into it right there. Uh, the scrap archfiend is just for a beater. They can't fiendish chain it, so won a lot of games because of that. Uh, three stardust dragon staple. You, can, you need that in there. Uh, you got your you got your one you want fusion three star. It's a wind, two earth, it's a three earth all together. So basically why. So, you know, they, sh they have their Shadow and Prisoning Mirror, so a lot of people, just random people main deck it, so you don't want to have anything be any kind of a, an issue when you're when you're going into it. Um, so you got the 3 star, 2 4 star, and the 1 5 star, uh, <laughs> Gorse token, and the Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon for your Cyber Dragon you have in your side deck. So if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask, I'm more than happy to reply. 
Uh, let me know if you like this video. Please like my video and subscribe, and I'll see you guys around.